rated TVP Is that what you're trying to tell me? I'll show nothing! You loser! It's all classic! Oh, you miss Royal Flush! God knows I am! Hey! So, I'm your man Kevin the Skull Anderson, and I have one question for you! Who wants to learn how to make pancakes like a boss? Huh? Because I'm going to teach you how to make a stack of pancakes. And I know it because I'm going to show you how I did it this morning, as a matter of fact. May the 20th, 2018. Yeah, I'm pretty good with dates. Well, not literally, just numerically, but you get the point. I mean, I wouldn't get a date in real life because I look like shit. The point is, I'm going to teach you, man, because that's what God put me on this world to do, to help you out. Yeah, man. It's what you want, so that's what you're going to get. Damn straight. So let's consider the facts. If you're gonna make something like, I don't know, this, read what's on the back of it. All you're gonna need, one third of a cup of water, and as I'm about to show to you, one third of a cup of milk. You know the prison term, get the milk, right? Well, I'll just say that applies here, huh? Yeah. And I don't mean literally either. Seriously. And then, of course, you got to pour the contents into here, like I'm about to do right now. And just, just seriously, check this out. Check this out. Just pour this whole damn thing right in here. In here. Your third of a cup of water. Your third of a cup of milk. Just pour it in here. Oh, by the way, I should point out to you, please be sure to replace the lid as tightly as you freaking can. Because, because by the way, you're going to need to, to just do this tightly, very, very tightly, you know? Very, very, very tightly. To run a tight ship? I mean, seriously, though. And let me just say this, let me say this. You basically gotta shake this thing for about a minute and a half. That's 45 seconds the first time. And then you gotta loosen any remaining mix and then you gotta shake again and then you gotta pour the batter onto a hot greased skillet or a skillet or whatever. You know? Pretty simple shit. You know? You gotta heavily shake the shit. You know? Seriously. Hey, also notice how I'm shaking this, huh? Yeah. You gotta shake the living hell out of it, man. Really, though. You gotta. It's absolutely necessary. Hell, I think it's been 45 seconds now, but what the hell would I know, huh? And then we gotta turn this upside down and then loosen the freaking remaining mix, you know, it's pretty simple, loosen it, loosen it, loosen it, loosen it, and then of course you gotta shake again, right, for another 30 or so seconds, or however the hell it long takes, you know, but what the hell would I know, I don't know much of anything anyhow, so fuck it, if you don't want to take my advice, you don't have to, but this is for your own good, because you gotta learn this shit in order to live, in order to be sustainable, to be self-sufficient, you gotta know this stuff, man, Seriously, you gotta know this stuff. You really do. Then you gotta loosen that shit. Loosen. Right? Gotta loosen. By the way, here's something else I think you should know. Huh? Seriously though. <laughs> Take a look at this shit. Okay, so you gotta you gotta turn your freaking stove on. 
Yeah, but before you do that, of course, put this shit in here, huh? Gotta put all that in here, but not too much. Just make sure it gets a better half of the pan, or at least covers half of the pan. Then you gotta turn this thing to a notch above me, right? Like freaking so. Like so. Like so. Like so. Like so. Like so. Right? Pretty simple. A kid can do this. You know? Then you pull the contents into here. Right? Pour that stuff, man. Pour it. Usually, I just try to get as much of the damn stuff as I can. You know? By the way, before you put any of the pancake mix in there, you gotta make sure that that's been on for at least five minutes. That way, you don't have to wait as long to get your pancakes cooked. You know? And, and you know, the key to this, to stuff like this, the key to shit like this, is that when you're cooking pancakes, you gotta make sure that they are golden brown on each side. Each side. So when you're when you're cooking a pancake and the bottom is slightly how you say smoking, you know, there there's a little bit of white smoke coming out of it, you'll know that it's time to flip it. Seriously. I mean, it really is. No joke. No joke. By the way, if you're gonna get a place of your own, if you're gonna be self-sufficient, you gotta know this. Seriously, man. And I'm not Rachel Ray or or any one of the Chew. I'm not. I'm not Martha Stewart, but I don't have to be because I'm just like every one of you. I'm just like you. I'm a human being. I learned through trial and error. My life is trial through error. You know? Seriously. Gotta know this shit if you wanna live. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You understand, right? You understand? Get the general consensus here? Pia! Pia! Nah! Mmm! Good luck! It's time to stop! By the way, you're gonna need a plate. By the way, you gotta set that plate right beside here. And all that shiz, right? By the way, check out my buddy Larry Henson the Third, Shizzo Network. He's got some really cool stuff. Seriously though. Yeah. But here's the thing. Now let, let's get to the main part, right? Let's get to the main part. Right fucking here. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of funny now that I think about it. It really is. Because, I mean, of any regular jack off could do this, you know? You know the term regular jack-off was most common and popularized in the show Metalocalypse, right? You know the term regular jack-off? Get used to that, because I'm going to be using that phrase a lot in future episodes of any of my shows. But just bear that shit. Never mind that shit, here comes Mongo! Blazing Saddles, 1973. But, by the way, notice, notice the number 1973. 
if you exclude the middle numbers, you get the number 13. And that's my lucky number! I was born on that number! Fuck! <laughs> yeah, man. I gotta make sure that the damn shit is slightly smoking at the bottom. I'm pretty sure that it is at this point. Not that anyone gives a fuck, but I totally don't. Because I'm just showing you. Right? So now we flip this. Perfection. Fucking perfection. Sheer golden brown. Right there. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look, look, look. It says the look at that. Look at that. Golden brown. I'm, I'm going to show you. Man. I'm going to show you. Man. See that? Golden brown on one side. Or at least damn close to it. Kind of figures, doesn't it, huh? Yeah. I gotta check that shit. I gotta check that shit. So I don't want it to overcook. The last thing you fucking need. The damn bastard thing to overcook. Or whatnot. Personally, I wouldn't care, because by the way, this is going to be a half-hour episode of LTGL, right? I'm trying to find an acronym for it, you know? Notice my pauses in between certain words. That's that autism spectrum kicked in, right? But, I mean, God, it's fucking first grade. A fucking dog would know this. Damn. There you go. We got some more of that shit. Straight up the butt. Straight up the butt. Ah. Yeah. I mean, you get what I'm saying, though, right? You understand? You get it now? You understand? You see it? Because he's believing, man. It's never been more true than right fucking now. Right fucking now. Right fucking now. Somebody touch a must forget! To By the way, you gotta do the same thing for each of those pancakes every time you put batter into this pan. Right? And I don't know that I'm even using a nonstick pan. I mean, <laughs> I mean, this is fucking. This isn't fucking Congress. This isn't the Senate. Jesus. Does it even fucking matter? What fucking gives? I want to. Can you see that? Fucking perfect. Look, look, look. I, I'm, I'm gonna show you one more time. One more. One more time. Murder Fricker. E. Yeah, look at that. Fucking golden. Brown up in this bitch. Golden brown up in this bitch, yeah. Yeah. Ha! But you get the general idea, right? You get the general idea. Seriously? Now, I'm not Mr. Poo. I don't even want to be Mr. Poo because I don't want to know what goes through his fucked up mind. Assuming that he's a pervert, but he's not, obviously. Or at least he hasn't been discovered as one yet. But you know how all these celebrities end up coming under fire from from all these fucking accusations of 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 assault or misconduct or whatever. You know all that shit, right? You know Morgan Freeman. You know Harvey Weinstein. Fucking Tom Cruise. What a Scientologist he is, right? Oh, he's our hero! Let's give it up for Tom Cruise! Yay! Bullshit. Fuck Tom Cruise. The only thing he was ever good for is brainwashing people. 
his so-called remake of The Mummy is living, breathing proof of that. You don't need a doctor to tell you that. You don't even need a psychologist to tell you that. All you need is a good mind about you to fucking know. And if you don't allow yourself to know, then you're just as much a part of the problem as anyone else. Right? I mean, God, man. It's not... It's not... College, it's not rocket science, it's, it's, it's simple fucking shit. It's simple. It's all simple. It's all simple, man. Seriously. Because does it, does it really need to be anything more than simple? It's honestly, seriously, it's, it's, I'm telling you, man. Seriously. I mean, you might as well have the double dribble national anthem playing over this shit. Because it's so fucking basic. So run of the mill, right? So rinky dink and all that shit. Right? I'm gonna try to get this fucking battery here as much as I fucking can. That's all I'm good at. Right? Uh, by the way, one of my friends who I won't name was a reason was recently arrested for something. One of my friends I know personally in life sent me a Facebook message on Messenger regarding her arrest, but still. Um this person apparently has two sons that have what I have. Because, of course she does, because we live in the starseed generation, and very rightly so. So either way, it all comes together like fucking peaches and cream. Right? You don't need a scientist to tell you that, huh? Ah. You do seriously understand, right? Get it? Get it? Get it? Get it? Seriously, get it? I mean, I don't even, I can't even tell you, legitimately, flip that, dude, that's right, take, oh yeah, man. that's fucking right, that's fucking right, yeah man, fuck yeah, holy shit, seriously, look, look at this man, oh my god, <laughs> I just made a cake dinner! Holy shit! And all I have to do was follow the directions on the back of the container. Ah, look at that, man. Look at that. Look at that shit. Look at that. Golden brown. Look at that. Look at that. Golden brown. Golden brown. Golden brown. Golden brown. Golden brown. Golden brown. Ah, yeah, man. Golden brown. Golden brown mother. Yeah. Up in this mother. Huh? You got that right. Yeah. By the way, if, if you're ever gonna get a place of your own or be self-sufficient, you gotta learn how to do shit like this. Seriously. This it's really not hard to do. It's not it's not even that difficult, honestly. It's not even that difficult? I mean... <laughs> oh, by the way, you, you gotta... You gotta rinse this. You gotta rinse this. Ah, gotta rinse that. Yeah. Uh, rinse that. Dry. I mean, you, you gotta know this shit, man. You gotta know this shit. Because you can't possibly survive on your own. You have no fucking chance in hell of surviving on your own if you don't know how to do stuff like this. It's not hard. Seriously. A fucking dog can do it. 
a literal fucking dog, an animal. Legitimate. And, I, and I'm not just, I'm not just trying, you know? It's actually quite simple. One third of a cup of water. One third of a cup of milk. Into a container of pancake mix. Shake the living bejesus out of it for about a minute. Of course, two separate times for 30 seconds apiece. Then, all you got to do is pour it into the pan a little bit at a time every five or so minutes. Pretty simple. But you already knew that. Said that. And did it. But that don't mean shit. If you ain't got the balls. That's a fact. Get in my belly. We'll just pretend like that never happened. Damn. I'm sorry I had to make you go through that. But really though, my chest and stomach say it all. I look like shit. That's why nobody wants to date me. Ah, I'm just kidding the hell with it. And I don't mean the apology either. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Always remember to live the God life. And listen to him first and foremost before you listen to anybody else. Because if you're not listening to him first, you're not living right. Seriously. Listen to him. And that's all I got. So until next time. I'll see you on social media and cyberspace. Goodbye. Ah, it's so awesome! Look at that!